Tell your story with movie narration. A man and his boss share an elevator. The boss suddenly reaches out and grabs one of Walt's toys. Walter can't take it anymore and slaps the suitcase in the boss's face. The boss stopped pretending and the two men fought. They fought from the elevator to the building and from the street to the end of the street. Just as the two sides were about to split up, the boss interrupted him. Are you a robot? Why aren't you moving? Give you some gas. That plain old Walt is daydreaming again. Walt was an employee of the newspaper. His job was to develop photographs. For 16 years, he's been doing the same job. His salary of $3,000 a month is barely enough to make ends meet. For 42 years, he lived an ordinary life. One day, he heard that his goddess had gotten divorced and signed up for a dating app for his female co-worker. Walt went home and signed up for the same app, but he realized he couldn't even send a dog's head. When he called customer service, he was told that he hadn't filled out his life history, like what beautiful places he'd been and what wonderful things he'd done. Walt's silence gave the answer. Just then, the building behind him suddenly burst into flames. Without hesitation, Walt immediately jumped in. Within moments, he rescued a three-legged dog. He gave it to his female co-worker and won her heart. But the next moment, customer service said something that pulled him back to reality. The mediocre Walt daydreams again. Only real experiences come win a woman's heart. But Walt's life is as calm as a lake without a ripple. When he arrives at the office, he learns that the magazine has been bought out. This means that Walt is out of a job. That morning, Tun, a famous field photographer, sent him a letter. The letter thanked Walt for never making a mistake in developing his photos. He told Walt to send a set of photographs, 25 of which were his best work. He also suggested that company executives to make this group of photographs the cover of the last issue of the magazine. Along with the photos came a customized wallet, a gift from Sean, just as Walt picked up the wallet to check it out. There was no photo 25 inside. Another of his co-workers tells Walt to go to a meeting and bring photo 25 with him. The new manager of the company asks him for the photo. Walt is embarrassed and says that the photo is still being processed. In order to find photo 25, Walt turns to the woman who manages the photographer's financial accounts. The co-worker tells him that Sean has been living out of his home and has no phone. No one knew where Sean would go next, and he didn't know what to do, just as Walt was lost in thought. His co-worker called, it turned out that there was a ship's name in the set of photos. He told his co-worker, who he had a crush on, and asked for her help. The co-worker said he had to pick up his son from school. Walt didn't mind and went with her. On the way home, the co-worker called to ask about the location of the boat and the photos. Walt showed off his skateboarding skills to his co-worker's son. It was Walt's only childhood hobby, and he'd won awards for it. And the co-worker knew where the boat was. The boat was from faraway Greenland. When he heard the news, Walt had to force a smile, because going to Greenland would cost him all his savings. Back at the office, he was faced with a difficult decision, but the magazine's motto, live through the hard times, encouraged him. No longer hesitant, Walt embarked on his journey without hesitation. He boarded the red airplane that symbolized freedom. The beauty of the airplane was like nothing Walt had ever seen before. The plane landed in a small town with only a few houses. As Walt was inquiring about Sean, a drunken man approached him and asked Walt to play a song. When Walt refused outright, he pointed to Walt's nose. His song wasn't good enough and they got into a fight. Just as Walt was about to get his ass kicked, he saw the drunk's thumbs up. Isn't that the same picture Sean sent him? So the drunk put Sean on the boat. He's about to take off and he invites Walt to come with him. After seeing the pilot's stumbling posture, he hesitates. As the drunk boards the plane and takes off, Walt sighs and prepares to leave. That's when the figure of his female co-worker, whom he has a crush on, reappears. Walt finally made up his mind and ran as fast as he could. He jumped into the airplane. The plane took off. The sunlight soft and vast. It was a view he had never seen before. The helicopter was soon over the fishing boat. Walt curiously asked how to land, but the drunk told him to parachute. Walt is confused. Walt jumps at the drunk surging. Hello, Walt. I'm talking about the boat on the other side. But a guy with fins swam toward him. The old captain kept telling him it was a dolphin and not to be afraid. Suddenly, a sharpie came at him and Walt nearly died. The old captain said it was a shark. It was a shark. Save him. Luckily, the kayak showed up and pulled him up. He never thought his life would be so exciting. Once on board, he realized that Sean had gone off the boat hours ago. A few hours ago, Sean had gone off the boat to go film at a crater in Iceland. Luckily, the fishing boat would be docked at a nearby marina tomorrow. So Walt got off the boat at the dock. One of the sailors on the dock told Walt to get a bike. And Walt didn't know what to do. At that moment, a group of people suddenly tried to grab the bike from him. But Walt was way ahead and the lake was a sight to behold. The wind blowing on his face gave Walt a feeling of freedom. Even the birds flying in the sky made him feel goddess-like. But three seconds later, he crashed into a utility pole. Walt had no choice but to start running. Luckily, he saw a group of skateboarding kids in a service area. So, Walt walked up to them and tried to trade his toy with them. But, even with all his persuasion, 
they were unmoved. Lot gun tie your sister up with this, I have to say, fatty is really something. And he ran to the edge of the cliff and came up with an idea. He picked up the stones on the ground and tied them to his hands. He went down the winding mountain path, and then as he had learned it as a child, As the mountain road was down, he soon came to Shaw's town. Strangely, the town was empty. As Walt wondered, a car pulled up beside him. The man in the car urges Walt to get in, but the language barrier confuses him. Suddenly, an airplane flies by and Walt realizes why. On the plane stood Sean, but he couldn't think too long before he got in the car. Good thing they escaped at the last minute. Walt arrived at the cafeteria, a little distracted. Not only had he not found Sean, he had spent most of his savings. He had no choice but to call his goddess and tell her what had happened to him. Fortunately, she was interested in his story. For the first time in his life, he talked to his goddess, lost. Walt returned to his home. In his frustration and anger, he threw his wallet in the trash. Then he stared at the rest of the photos. But he suddenly realized that the photo was of his mother's piano. After asking around, he realized that Sean had been to his house before and told Walt about Sean's upcoming trip. Walt was in deep thought. He didn't really want to go, but he felt he had to finish what he started. Walt packed his bags again and set off. This time to the Himalayas, he passes a waterfall to be baptized by the locals and eats leaves when he is hungry. Midway through the journey, he gets separated from the locals leading the way. Walt walked the rest of the way alone. On the way, he receives a call from a dating service, and he finally feels in his life story. At that moment, a voice suddenly interrupted him. He turned his head to see that it was Sean, and the two met unexpectedly. At this point, he asks Sean about the whereabouts of the 25th photo. Sean was surprised and said that the negative was in his wallet. Walt frowsy for a moment, and then Sean gestured for him to come over. They got closer and it turned out to be a snow leopard, but Sean didn't pull the trigger. He just stood there and watched. Walt asked him why, and it turned out that Sean had taken the picture himself. He never took pictures for the sake of taking pictures, but for the enjoyment of it. After Sean went down the mountain, they played soccer with the locals. This was something Walt had never experienced before. He thought he would never have a successful career. But when he got home, his mother handed him a wallet. Maybe God wanted him to have a successful career. He rushed to give the picture to his boss, even though he was not welcome. A few days later, he met the goddess again while collecting his pension. She asked him why he hadn't heard from him in a long time. Walt stumbles through his adventures, and then the two of them come together again. Passing by a newspaper office, they finally saw photo 25 for what it was. It was Walt himself, Walt at work. In fact, we don't have to be so constrained in life. We can boldly do what we want to do, even if it's just a small indulgence in our own willfulness. In our ordinary lives, there are not so many audiences. Finally, this sci-fi movie is dedicated to you, and I hope it can be the story of your future.